Hello, this is the TradeSite Forex Market Preview and International Economic Data Roadmap for the week beginning Sunday, the 16th of August, and being Friday, the 21st of August, 2020. Hope you had a good trading week. Pretty fairly flat week in Forex. Here's the dollar index daily chart. You can see we've kind of been stuck here near the lows for a couple of weeks, not really going anywhere. Go through the uh, major dailies. Here's the euro dollar, which is currently the inverse of the dollar index. Here's the pound. Look how flat that's been for two weeks. Here's the Aussie dollar, also very flat. Here's the Euro Yen. I made a little bit of a move this week. Pound Yen, also up a little bit. Pound Swiss, dead flat in the New Zealand dollar pair. Also fairly flat. Keep in mind that August is typically the slowest month of the year for Forex. Some people will go half size uh, for August. We haven't really called that yet this year, um, but we certainly are seeing the narrow action. The reason we didn't really call it is because Usually it's narrow because everybody in Europe leaves and goes on vacation. I don't know there's that much of that going on right now. So kind of not sure that that was going to slow us down, but it appears to have done basically that. Um, here's the interweek action. High to low on the euro is only 140 pips. Uh, it's basically typically a single day's range, 120 pips. So this is really uh, bad on the pound dollar. High to low for the week is also only, actually it's not even... 140 pips, that's really sad, 125, 130 pips on the pound, and no consistent action. So that's probably the poorest week we've seen uh, in a while, and uh, it is what it is. All right, let's get to the economic data coming out this week. Sunday, the right move HPI out of the UK, preliminary GDP price index out of Japan, and the preliminary GDP. Monday, revised industrial production. Remember, these are all Eastern Time, U.S., uh, foreign uh, revised industrial production out of Japan, foreign securities purchases out of Canada, Empire State Manufacturing Index here in the U.S., mortgage delinquencies at some point this week here in the U.S., NAB Housing Market Index here in the U.S. at 10 a.m., tick long-term purchases here in the U.S. at 4 p.m., uh, Australia releases the minutes from their last uh, bank meeting, 30-year bond auction out of the U.K. and Japan overnight, and then housing starts and building permits here in the U.S. at 8.30 a.m. Tuesday. CB leading index out of Australia. New Zealand's GDT price index. PPI out of New Zealand. Core machinery orders out of Japan and trade balance at 7.50 p.m. Eastern time. MI leading index out of Australia, and then we go on to Wednesday, so so far not much. CPI out of the U.K. along with their PPI and RPI. Europe's got their current account, final CPI out of Europe at 5 a.m., German 30-year bond auction, and then Canada's got all their CPI numbers and their wholesale inventories, U.S. crude oil inventories at 10.30, and the minutes from our last Fed meeting at 2 p.m. Going into Thursday, trade balance out of Switzerland, German PPI, CBI industrial order expectations, uh, ADP non-farm employment change out of Canada, Philly Fed Manufacturing Index here in the U.S. along with initial and continuing jobless claims. CB Leading Index here in the U.S. Natty Gas here in the U.S. Uh, Thursday evening in Australia, Flash Manufacturing and Services PMI numbers. Consumer Confidence out of the U.K. National Core CPI out of Japan. <coughs> Flash Manufacturing PMI out of Japan. Credit Card Spending out of New Zealand. And now we're into Friday where we've got Public Sector Net Borrowing and Retail Sales out of the U.K., and then we've got flash services and manufacturing PMI numbers out of Germany, France, the European sector, UK. Canada's got their core retail sales and NHPI number. And then here in the US, our flash manufacturing services and PMI numbers. Europe's consumer confidence at 10 and existing home sales here in the US at 10 uh, to end the week. So none of our big three, no Fed meeting, no GDP announcements. We're not in the middle of earnings season. So we're just in the middle of the boring part of the year, and maybe the markets will play out that way. Charts as usual brought to you by eSignal. If you've not yet taken a trial of our services, feel free to do so. We will help you out for a couple weeks. Have a great trading week.